Hello everyone, welcome to my Dark Souls 3 Demon Scar PvP video. Pretty much I, uh, I've been wanting to play my Pyromancer lately after doing all this PvP because I, I really like my Pyromancer build a lot and uh, I realized that the Demon Scar is a Pyromancy Flame and at first um, I've been seeing a lot of people writing it off as being not good because the they just don't do as much damage with their pyromancies, but I definitely think that is not the case because you can really do some mix-ups and have some serious mind games going. Um, it's not the easiest thing to play, but once you get used to it, it's really fun because you have a lot of options and you can really control the, the rhythm of the battle. So right there, I saw you had a medium shield or a small shield, and uh, as a curved sword user, like pretty much a lot of times I want to initiate with that running attack, so I was just feeling ballsy and I just went straight for it and he went straight for the parry. So now that I know that, um, right there I did the weapon art because I wasn't sure that he was going to roll away. I thought he might parry again. Because a lot of times these guys, when they start, they start with a parry, they get real thirsty about it and they just want to parry all the time. And you can't parry the weapon art. You also can't parry Chaos Bed Vestiges or Black Flame. Like right there, you tried to parry. Couldn't parry it, and then I just roasted him. So the weapon art is pretty good because um, it does the jump, and the jump um, looks cool, which is awesome. And then uh, it leaves a pool of uh, chaos lava, which is a lot more useful than you would think because now there's like a thing on the ground that they have to avoid, and it will um, stun and stagger them. So, like, they'll get a hit stun off of it. So sometimes you can do the weapon art, hide behind it, they'll go towards it, they'll get hit with it, and then you can peg them with, like, a normal attack, or you can use that to get away, or you can use it to, you know, hit them with a big spell, like Chaos Bed Vestiges, which usually I don't have in my Pyromancy builds, but this one seems to work really well with it. I didn't admittedly play a whole lot of fights with it just yet, uh, I, mean, I do intend on playing with this a lot more because I find it to be very fun. Uh, it's, like I said, lots of options. So, Flame Surge is there to keep them at their distance. And then when they end up, basically the only way to deal with it is to run through it and try to hit you, which he figured out pretty quick. So, what ends up happening is when they get aggressive, you can do Flame Surge, flip, switch to Black Flame, hit them with that, and then they're like, oh, it's, it's a lot, it's a pretty big chunk of damage, and that's you know, pretty good. So, pretty much when I have Chaos Bed Vestiges out, and right there you saw he got stunned by the uh, the lava pool there. So it was a good example of that. But when I have Chaos Bed Vestiges out on my uh, my move to be used, or my spell, a lot of times I'm using it to uh, do the weapon art, or combo into it, like do a hit and then uh, just throw it. And a lot of times you'll do a hit swing again, they'll roll away, you throw that, and it roll catches them, especially if they roll away from you. Um, I find that it actually roll catches really well for some reason, probably just because of the way that it comes out. Um, you do need a Sage Ring plus two to make this work. Without Sage Ring plus two, or like a high dex, this is, all of these spells and combos don't work, it's just not fast enough. So uh, when I first started doing it, I, for, I haven't played my Pyromancer in a while, uh, I made a whole new Pyromancer. And uh, I didn't put Sage Ring plus two in for some reason. And I was like, man, this thing sucks. I don't know why the hell this isn't working. Like, I just can't seem to get combos or anything going. Like, it's... But then I was like, oh, hey, stupid, you forgot to fix the Sage Ring. So I put the Sage Ring on, and then all of, the, all of a sudden this, this came to life. Um, the Pyromancy Rings are not necessary, but I use them because I can't really think of anything better to put. Um, I might... You might be able to switch out one of them for, um, so like your Swamp Ring and your Witch's Ring. You can probably switch them out for uh, maybe one of them for a Life Ring plus three if you need a little extra health. But I usually I'll always trade more health for a little less damage. But on this one, because um, the primary weapon doesn't hit so hard, that was... I guess that was good. I don't know. On my screen, I didn't think it was too great, but, you know, he definitely got me with it. 
So um, that's one thing to worry about is when you cast your black flame and you miss, like for a lot of those spells, you can get uh yeah. So basically, he's just rolling me down with his armor of thorns. And uh, you saw I went crazy trying to hit him, couldn't do it. So, you know, it just is what it is sometimes. Um, that backstab pretty much killed me. But that's, uh, that is a danger when you're using uh, spells, is because you don't move at all, you don't turn at all, so they can uh, get behind you and backstab you. So it's just something to, to watch out for. Uh, try not to be too predictable with your spells. The, the real strength of this is how erratic you can be. You can really do a lot of work without your spells, just doing the, you know, you're rolling, uh, you're rolling, you're running attack. But right there, you saw I just hit him with a two combo, like nothing crazy. I'm not necessarily trying to use all my spells right away, so he's not sure what to expect. Um, the range on this thing isn't as good as I would like it to be, but Flame Surge helps with that. So, um... Pretty much, if you're going to be roll catching people with this thing, you got to be running them down with your buffered running attacks, or you'll be hitting them with a spell as they're rolling away from, like, you know, your weapon art. So there's a few things that I, I um, I've always struggled. For some reason, when people are using daggers, I have like such a hard time, which you saw in the last fight. I just can't figure them out. They, they're, they're not. I can't use them, which I probably should start using them so I can, like, figure them out. But, um, so I saw he had the, uh, cast this out. So basically I'm just gonna try to run in and, uh, catch him with a weapon art. But then I just hit him with that and it worked. So it doesn't always work, but, um, if you don't throw it and you play well, a lot of times people assume you don't have it because it's so easy to avoid typically. And, uh... It's under, like, the so smart, uh, so stupid it's smart, uh, <laughs> file in my head. So, like, sometimes, like, you're playing against somebody that's really smart, usually they'll only, like, especially if they have a longsword, they'll only swing, like, once or twice. So they'll, they'll, like, hit you, get you with the follow-up, and then they'll, like, you know, go away, or maybe try to hit with the, uh, the heavy attack, and they'll, they'll delay it a little bit so they can roll catch you, or so that you can't just, you know, outright parry them with, like, a fast parry tool. But sometimes people will just uh, realize that you think that, you know, they've been playing tight the whole time, so they just assume you're going to operate under the assumption that um, after they hit you twice, they're either going to roll away or do something. They'll establish a pattern of, you know, hitting twice and running away. And then they'll just swing, like, like ten times, and then you, you'll get hit with, like, six of them. And then uh, you'll be like, oh, well, maybe they can't. So they'll hit you like three or four times and then you'll be like, oh crap, and you'll roll away. And then you'll be like, hey, there's no way he's going to keep swinging. And then you'll sprint in to him still swinging and, you know, he'll catch you. So that's, um, that's why I have Chaos Bed Vestiges there, other than the fact that it combos fairly well. But as you can see, sometimes you just catch people with it outright, which is not something I would rely on. Pretty much you're just trying to keep it switched up and different with this. The best thing you can do is be unpredictable. So, um, the Black Knight shield is kind of not, it's not a problem for this build. Um, but anything that's got high fire res resistance or fire blocking is uh, obviously going to cause you some issues. Now, he doesn't have that, that shield right now, but uh, one thing you can do is if people are hiding behind shields is you can just run up establish a pattern of like running attacks and bouncing off like I really don't know why this guy's throwing stuff at me I guess he's just trying to I don't know do what I do with flame surge but you can run up and um, after you establish a pattern of just doing running attacks you can just uh, also this combo is kind of decent at uh, getting people when they wake up which is great if they don't roll away immediately but um yeah black flame does a ton of stamina damage or uh, stability damage to shields, so it's uh, it's a really good option for breaking guards. Um, also, you have a parry tool, so you know, that's helpful if you uh, can predict the future. Which you kind of have to do if you want to be able to parry effectively. Um, that's not usually something I can do. Like, I can, I can predict some things, but um, attacks are something I don't try to predict. When they try to parry me, I try to predict it. So this guy's got the Crescent Moonsword, 
and it's pretty good. You'll, you'll see he uses it, so I'll like, oh, I'll go to Flame Surge, and then I realized immediately <laughs> I can't Flame Surge anymore because I don't move side to side fast enough to avoid those attacks, and I will lose every trade. So when he two hands it, he effectively shuts down my Flame Surge, so I can't use that as an option anymore. So you'll see I have to go and <clears throat> rely more on my Curved Sword move set and my running attack to initiate. So the um, pretty much. Uh, you know, I um, didn't quite realize that he had, uh, I realized he had the parry tool out, but instead of using that opportunity to continue my flame surges, I correctly predicted that he was going to try to parry me at some point, so I kept like running around, and then over here, uh, now I started doing some flame surges to try to get him to two hand again, because I figured maybe he'll weapon army down, but um... Yeah, and right there I, I traded again. Because um, Flame Surge comes out so fast and he has such low life, I can kind of afford a few losing trades at the moment, but I can't go too crazy with it. And then, um, yeah, so he's two handing it, can't Flame Surge, and then uh, I end up hitting him with the, the weapon art and just doing the whole combo because I can. But yeah, that's pretty much how this, uh, this works. You use your Flame Surge unless you can't, and then, you know just adjust. The best part about this is you can adjust. So if you enjoyed this, give it a like and we'll catch you next time. Bye.